What's going on guys, Kaden here and I'm back today with another video on the channel. As you can tell from the title, we do have the most cheapest and uh, overpowered players that you can get yourselves in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team right now with the budget of 10,000 coins. So all the players you guys will be seeing uh, right now are all below 10,000 coins, which is pretty insane because we used to buy these players um, at the beginning of the game for a lot more um coins of course obviously the players they are very meta and they are very expensive at the start of the game but yeah i have a full bench i have a full reserves and i have a full starting 11 of some of the best players you can get yourself for 10k that i have used uh, i know there's a lot of players i haven't used but uh, in my opinion these are probably some of the best players under 10k i not i know there's like no special cards i know they're all golds um but obviously yeah team of the week cards do extend or do go over that 10k budget so we are going to start off i'm going to try and briefly explain why i've picked each player i don't want to make it too long of a video and then um you guys can let me know if you have used the different players you haven't if you'd like to try them or if you'd recommend other players within the 10k budget i'm going to try go from about like 10 to maybe 50 to 100 maybe try do something like that you guys can let me know maybe i go to like 25 or so um but it's something i do really want to do show you guys some different players but also some meta players um that could work for you starting off with the man himself the rat himself it is going to be ben yeda he does have four star skill moves five star weak foot very good all-rounder striking stats definitely the five star weak foot comes in very handy for him definitely put a hunt card on him um that would probably be the best chem style armor um, i am going to try recommend um all the different chem styles i would use on the different players or that i did use when i did have them um in my team at the start of the game like i said obviously they're a lot cheaper now i was probably buying benieta for close to 30 to 40 000 coins at the start of the game so obviously it's a lot um cheaper right now so definitely put a, a a hunt card on him if you are going to try him probably one of the better strikers in um league one obviously mbappe is probably millions and just a lot more expensive um than benieta but he is a very decent option there Rashford is going to be our second player in the team. Five star skill moves, three star weak foot. They did take away his four star weak foot, which is very unfortunate, but he still is a fantastic card. Um, 90 pace, 84 dribbling, 84 shooting, 77 physicality. I think an engine would be perfect for him because he does not have um the best agility for some reason. I thought Marcus Rashford is very agile. Um, in real life, maybe not too agile, but definitely want to get that up. Um just a little bit from 84 um maybe close to 90 with the engine card on him he is six foot one very tall maybe that does affect his agility but you do want to get that up just a little bit so he doesn't feel too clunky in game now vinicius one of the best players or one of the best wingers i've used in this game goal card in form second in form um i haven't got to try the team of the group stage just yet but an absolute fantastic card uh five star skill moves four star weak foot his red in form that i have is absolutely great for me and i use him um consistently and he is so so good and i'm sure the gold card is just as good obviously as a five star skill moves four star weak but you definitely need to get that shooting up um and passing so i'd say dead eye is the best chem style to use on vinicius jr right there now obviously the players aren't going to be in their positions um it's just a roundup of the best players um that you can get for under 10k starting off here with gomez six foot two medium medium three star three star or preferred if he did have high defensive work rates i think that matters just a little bit um i don't notice work rates too much but i think defenders do need that high defensive work rate um at times i don't think it matters too much for midfielders as you can just have them on stay back while attacking as um the instructions or you can just put them on stay back while attacking in the instructions part of your um tactics etc and all of that but yeah defensively very good a3 defending 78 physicality 81 pace i'll definitely put an anchor card on him um just to boost that physicality because he is lacking quite a bit in stamina so you definitely need to get that up uh for sure now it's sentiment the probably they very cheap let's just say la liga has a lot of cheap sentiment so obviously diong and dorente are about 20k uh valverde is probably the best option under 10k he has 86 pace 79 dribbling 77 defending 80 physicality 74 shooting 78 passing very good stats um for an 83 cents mid 86 pace very nice 90 sprint speed um but yeah as for terms of chem style maybe go with the sentinel or you can even go with an anchor depending how you use him um in game but those are the two chem styles i'd recommend maybe a shadow if you want to boost his defensive stats just a little bit more he does have high high work rates which is very nice again four star weak foot so you can play him on as a left sense mid or right sense mid which is also very handy dembele I, do i need to say more about this man absolutely great card five star skill moves five star weak foot 93 pace 86 dribbling 77 shooting 77 passing 
Deadeye, Sniper, Maestro. But between the two or between the three, I would say definitely put up Maestro um, or Deadeye on him. That would probably be the best two chem styles. Uh, he definitely needs a shooting and passing upgrade right there. Davies and Mendy. So now Mendy is obviously a lot more expensive than Davies. Davies just doesn't have too many links in Bundesliga. Therefore, he is um, below that 10k mark. But absolutely fantastic card. Like I've said many times in previous videos, Davies and Mendy are the two best gold left backs in the game, in my opinion. And with Davies being under 10k, he just had to be in the team with four star skill moves, four star weak foot, high load. Um, def uh, attacking and defense work rates isn't fantastic but he is six foot 96 pace um 82 dribbling 75 defense 75 physical obviously it is going to have to be a sentinel on him because 96 pace is by far good enough for him in my opinion now obviously the link to davies with pomicano 81 pace 81 defending 81 physicality i've used these guys a lot of my squad builders so i am very used to them um of course again he does have that high attacking work rate which isn't too good i would say but he is six foot one three star weak foot and uh, again a very solid center back to get yourselves um right now in the game and now Militao, i have been using his adidas numbers up card but again his goal card is good enough 83 pace 83 defending 82 physicality with 721 dribbling and 69 um passing which is very good for a center back obviously not the best agility and balance but you can boost that if you really want to but again i'd only recommend having a shadow or an anchor card on him i like just going with those two chem styles um on my center backs unless they have like good enough pace or maybe and then go with like a sentinel but the, those are only like a few center backs in the game that actually don't need the pace upgrade um i would say now again another la liga center back it is going to be kunde 81 pace 72 dribbling 84 defense 78 physicality now i had to use kunde um because i packed them untradeable on my rtg so i have over like 100 or 150 games with him and i can say he is very very solid 5 foot 11 high high i was a bit worried about his height at first but i think he has good enough um is it jumping yeah he has 88 jumping so it does work out 5 11 is a uh good enough especially if he does have um 88 jumping so i wouldn't worry too much about that definitely put an anchor card on him just to boost that physicality um just a little bit and now again another right it is going to be Kempembe again top two gold center back in the game I would say just behind Marquinhos uh and again I think he is slightly over 10k but I just had to put him in the team I'm not too sure um if I check correctly but I think he's just under or just over 10k so I hope you guys don't mind that just a little bit I think he is a must-have though in the teams he does have the perfect work rates medium high left footed again which is very helpful three star weak foot two star skill moves um good pace very good defense and very good physicality and decent dribbling um which you do need with the center back this year i'd say especially when you're getting pressed etc those um little dribbling stats or those reactions etc or composure help quite a bit so that is going to round off um our starting 11 i would say we are going to move on to the bench and the reserves i'm going to try and make this a bit quicker because again i don't want the video to be too long starting off with lacroix i won't go into the player um or just like do that for example so lacroix again fantastic player when i used lacroix i was using him with the babu again i, I packed lacroix untradeable my rtg pack luck at the start was really good um so i did manage to use lacroix and mbabu there and they were absolutely fantastic as a duo so if you are working with a much lower budget than other people right now definitely get these two um in your starting 11 now wijnaldum um probably one of the best center mids in league one to go with they are very limited in their players i think him and renato sanchez will be a perfect duo if you guys want to do that in your midfield but uh yeah speaking of renato sanchez so i'm using his signature signings card but before that i was using him with jelson martins and absolutely great pair so renato sanchez probably him De Jong, Lorente, Goretzka and um, I think I'm missing one but those four I'd definitely put Renato Sanchez up there that just shows how high I actually do rate him he has some good links in league one of course and Portuguese um, I don't think he links to too many players except for like Chao Cancelo um, or a few others who are outside of league one but again he just needs that link to Jelson Martins who is absolutely fantastic as well um, who I did actually use on my main account showing how good he actually is five star skill moves three star weak but 93 pace 83 dribbling I think he deserves a little bit um, higher dribbling but I think his um, where did I go his uh, reactions ball control composure lets him down just a little bit which also does affect the shooting so you want to get that up um for sure i don't know what chemstar would actually boost shooting and dribbling by itself 
um i don't think there's actually one so you definitely want to get a maestro on him to boost the passing shooting and um get his dribbling up just a little bit as his pace is more than good enough sakaria um very solid cdm or sentiment that you can use in bundesliga again i think his work rates do let him down um just a little bit it has high medium for uh cdm or sentiment six foot three though three star skumus three star weak foot uh very good all-rounded stats in terms of chem style i think i anchor um would be good but it just i don't know it depends what you guys are actually looking for because he does have 67 agility and 64 balance which isn't ideal so maybe you'd prefer putting an engine on him which probably would be uh, a bit better than an anchor but i would always recommend putting like a shadow and anchor on all your sentiments or cdms depending on the the different stats of course now another center back option um in the bundesliga is a kanji who gets a perfect link um, to Mbabu, 81 pace, 81 defending, 77 physicality, 74 dribbling, again, very nice. Um, but again, Anchor will probably have to do for him just to get his physicality um, stats up. He's lacking in aggression, strength, stamina, and jumping just a little bit, and just lacks the standards, I would say, um, of the other centre-backs, so definitely need to get that up if your eyes are going to um, actually use him. Now, Correa, an RTG gym, I got him probably within the first few days on my RTG just because of how um, good he was. A lot of people were using him at the start of the game and he is still fantastic, probably one of the better um, La Liga strikers in the game right now. He is 4-star, four 4-star four and I think his stats are a lot better than they say. Definitely put a Hunter card on him. I used him with the Hunter and he's absolutely fantastic. I just wish I actually did this um, video on my RTG account because then I could show you guys the stats I did have with him. I think I played over 100 or 150 games with him as well and uh, yeah it's absolutely fantastic. Carried me to my first um 20 and 0 or rank 1 on my RTG and yeah he was absolutely fantastic. Now again another centre back in La Liga. It's going to be Diego Carlos, Eden Militao and Kunde. I think Diego Carlos just edges Kunde just a little bit. He is 6 foot 1, medium high, um, 3 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot, 76 pace, 81 defending, 83 physicality. He has a perfect um, defensive and physical attributes for a centre back. You just need to boost that pace up just a little bit. So definitely put a shadow card on him. Make sure you buy all the players with the Kim styles um, already put on them just so you pay a lot less um, then you would then just buying the player and then buying the chem style so if you guys didn't know that um, I hope you did uh, but yeah that's just a little bit of advice to save you guys just a little bit of coins now we are moving on to three Serie R players who are in the 10k of course Kessie probably one of the best EDM sentiments in Serie A again him and Barella um, I would say are probably the two best gold sentiments to go to our under 10k but I think Kessie just um, edges out Barella. That's why he is not in here. And I did not really know who to replace um, in the team with Barella. So that's just another option that you guys could go with. Chiesa, one of the best wide players. Um, and even like attacking players or strikers. So I used to use him as a striker on my RTG. Um, as like a right forward when I was playing 4-3-2-1 at the start. Or even a right striker in a 4-4-2. Or in a 4-2-3-1. I played him as a Ram. Absolutely fantastic. 4-star, four 4-star. Four um, high medium right foot said very good obviously he did get a team of the group stage card and uh, I'm sure that card is absolutely fantastic but I'm sure the gold will do um, just fine now Quadrado obviously going to get that link to Chiesa um, I don't think there's too many right backs in um, Syria they are lacking quite a bit in terms of quality low rated meta players but again Quadrado will do the job um just fine five star skill moves high medium 90 pace um very good shooting very good passing great dribbling and obviously just needs that defensive and physical attributes upgraded so you could put an anchor or a sentinel card on him and um he should do just fine but yeah here's a quick um overview of all the players that i did just go through let me know your guys thoughts who you think deserves to be in the team um let me know if you guys want to see more of this it is something i've just decided to start now i think 20k or 25k will be the next one i do in terms of budgets but i think it's a very fun thing to do show you guys some of the different players that you can use in fifa 22 um but yeah these are all players i've used of course if you have used some different players you guys can let me know in the comments below and um obviously if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to smash the like button subscribe um again it is something i do want to bring to the channel it looks really fun um and yeah if you guys did enjoy this video again please make sure to smash the like button subscribe turn on my no post notifications my post i keep saying post notifications make sure to turn on my notifications or hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as i post and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace